do the bosses around. So he's the S's. I know he's got action around here too. Uh -huh. Hey, stop. That artwork isn't terrible. I don't like cartoony stuff. It's not so much the art. The art's what gets you into the book, like the cover. That's kind of an interesting cover. So that got me into the story. But it's the story itself. What is the story saying? That's what I want to read. The art's nice, and it'll get me into the story, but I want to read a good story. Tell me something good. This is pretty good. I don't think that. Just picking up the regular, you know, Batman. Um, Holly, so, Green Arrow. Yeah, and then, and then, like We're so back into the Punisher. Great story know. again. This is phenomenal, man. Die, die, die. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Another one. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't wow. know. And the guy's drinking, jumping off the roof, and runs in front of a car. Yeah, nice. Oh, I gotta give that one a look for. I'm a sucker. I usually buy pizza and stuff, and we, and we do some work and whatnot. But it's not too often I feed the crew. Yeah. So today, we're going to feed the crew. So Phil is not going to go hungry today. That's good. Um, because I know he's, he's a, he's a how would we put starving it? Starving artist? He's a starving artist, you know? So um, so we're going we're gonna to get the crew fed. Yeah. And, and then maybe... <laughs> Maybe he'll be able to stand up a little extra longer and tape some more stuff. Yeah, it won't, it won't look like this, you know. It's uh, yeah. So we'll get him, we'll get him some of that. That's good. Hey, what's happening? What's up, Bob? This is Romano's Pizza, right next door to my store. The place is awesome. They got great pizza. They're probably the busiest pizza chain, pizza store in Haverhill. Um, they got great pizzas, great subs. Um, Almost all the people here are really nice. This guy here, oh man, this guy, stay away from him. All right? It's, uh, <laughs> turn that away now. Hey, can one of you guys run that over when it's ready? Yeah. All right, thank you. Hey, guys. Yep, let's I think I got more fun this weekend. Oh, good. That's... Oh, speed car to the spaceman. That's surprisingly a money book in that condition. Really? Yeah. So I was, I was 40, actually, I was retail. actually making a joke, you know. <laughs> it's like a forty-five. Wow. I would have brought it to you if it was junk. Oh. Yeah, Glenn, come on. He knows me. He knows. Yeah, no, no, but I mean, goods. no, but I mean, I mean, I, mean, I got, I bought, I bought headline comics. Shazam. It's not, it's, <laughs> but, it, but I've never seen it before, you know. Yeah. So it, it was just something cool to, something cool to have. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's right. The other way's good. You didn't handle that. You handled like that book so awful. Exactly. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Some of these are yeah, 60 like, years old. Right, right that have been handled. Right, right, that have been handled. Thrown across places. Right. Think about it for a second. Literally. Some of the stuff is, you know, some filler stuff, but I definitely need. Yeah, if you you know, don't want the fillers. Yeah. Oh no, I, I mean, there's the, the, some of the stuff I definitely like. I'm always looking for some Avengers. We got two of those. It's like a thirty, forty dollar retail. Silver Age Thor's, Doctor Strange. Is there always something worth having? You know, it's. I got an Inhumans number one in there too, I think. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. You can look it up. Wanna to touch the man thing? It burns. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked this, but a lot of people, Jack, I think Jack Kirby did the early demon stuff too. Well, they have the demon now in um, the Batman Damned. Yeah. Although he's a rap star now. But oh boy. Wow. Well, hey, he had a rhyme all the time. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> That's, that was one of the things I hated about the demon. I didn't. I was. I was good not listening to rhyming. I have a ton of Daredevil and Captain America, okay. so I just want to look to make sure I'm not just buying duplicates and, and three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't want. I bring back and. I have a ton of Daredevil stuff. It's just. Uh, it just seems like most of the stuff that I'm missing. He actually has. That's awesome. I don't need that. One. Some of his early, early, you know, Silver Age stuff sells. And some of his key, like Frank Miller stuff and whatnot, uh, sells unfortunately. Now, nah, yes, I'm not going to trash on Frank Miller. Um, his Daredevil stuff wasn't bad. I mean, he's not the greatest selling. He's not the greatest selling character. Even after they did the the movies, um, all the the TV shows uh, for Netflix, um, it still wasn't. It still was not a huge, uh, huge selling book. <laughs> Covers attached to it. Yep, old Atlas. Like it is. That was fun. Old Atlas comics, uh, pre pre Marvel. Look at panels and words. This is what a, this is what a comic book used to be about. Unlike today's books, where you can read where you can read a book in less than ten minutes. Uh, um, this book would probably took you thirty minutes to read. It's, it took me like forty minutes just to read one 
EC yeah, reprints. Great, great. Yeah, great. Look, at, look at the words, and there's still artwork and stuff. I mean, it's, it, yeah, this is this is this is it now. Nowadays, I don't know if it's laziness of the writers that can just do very little, or it's just laziness of people in general that says, "I don't want too many words in my books." I, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. You know, it's uh, oh, the books are four dollars now. This stinks, and well, you got your four dollars worth in the past two months. There's been three different books that have had no words. It's just been it's been worth those books and you're happy with that you know you you spent four dollars just uh just to have a picture book but a lot of people complain now too it's like oh wow it's the words that are in here there's too many panels or that's just a great cover there's so much going on here it's, wow magneto's kicking the crap out of cyclops but the avengers are coming in to pre coming in to save the day i mean it's it's just a it's just a really cool looking cover right my guess is about 18 bucks retail. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say about, uh, about 15. You know, 18's a fine. This isn't a fine because of the back cover here. Probably not a fine. I mean, it's it's it feels like it's been wet or something's been going on. But I would say I would say this is a very good plus fine low. So right in the middle of about right about 15 bucks. Yep, that, that's a perfect. Uh, see, we're right on the we're right right there almost all the time. You know, it's pretty there. Yep. I mean, yeah, you know, you could probably force the 18, but yeah, you know, it's not, I'm not going to. Yeah, I mean, I, right, right, me either. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather have it where someone looks at it and say, hey, that was really, that was, that was actually lower than I thought, it, thought it would be. You know, it's, uh, so no one com complains about the condition or anything when they see it, you know. And so I do it. So this is the. This is actually the first TKO book I've actually looked at now too, yeah. because I mean I haven't opened I'm up very, any of them I yet. Love yeah. the size, I love how the oversized yeah. pages like really enhance the artwork. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, Steve Epting does some fantastic artwork. I, I love this guy. Him and Brew Baker on Cat yeah, on yeah. Captain America was the best. Yep. I hope TKO gets a lot of you know gets a lot of love from like other stores where they they yeah. they they'll actually carry their carry their stuff. I mean I get it. They're not well known because Mark never heard about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never heard about it. They can't be that good. Uh, yeah, yeah, because Mark, Mark never heard about know, it. This book keeps selling out all over the place. I mean, I haven't read it yet. Corey's, Corey's read it so far. I mean, first of all, it's Garth Ennis and that's Steve Epping. That's, that's, that's pretty much the buzz about it is Garth Ennis and Steve Epping. Yeah. Like two super, super famous and, and well thought of creators in the industry. So you put them two together on a book and it's. it's Probably gonna be really good, and but, the story was fantastic. And TKO Studios is trying a new a new approach to comics. They're they're they're, they're trying the the Netflix approach, we'll call it, um, where they're where they're dropping all six issues at once uh, instead of having to wait monthly or bi monthly or for some schedule because some Yahoo can't get the book out on time. Where you've read three issues and you got to wait three months for issue four, uh, you're getting you're getting the whole thing at one point. They're, so so they'll drop all six issues at once. They put them in a box set, and you can get a so you can get all six. Nothing's late. Nothing, you know, it's there for people who don't want to collect the regulars. They also put the trade paperback out. Bam. At the same time, you can buy the box set of the book, or you can get the or you can get the trade paperback. Or you can download it online. You can buy it online too. I try not to ever talk about digi the digital hey. stuff because it's just not as good. But uh, um, but what TKO Presents does too, TKO Studios, um, they have four cut. They have four different books out right now. They got Seven Deadly Sins, The Fearsome Doctor Fang, Good Night Paradise, and Sarah. Um, uh, what what they do though is they will give you issue one for free online, yeah. so at least you can see it, read the first issue, and realize, hey, I may, I like this, I'll buy it because the books themselves come sealed in a box or sealed like this, so you can't actually look through it and, and say, hey, I want to buy issue one and see if I like it. It's they're um they're every everything seal everything sealed, so they do give you issue one for free if you want to read it online to to test it out. I think it's a great idea. Um, it's they've got four more books coming out in the future. One with a Jeff Lemire uh, writing one. I mean, I'm not gonna say there's a way of the future, but I think this could be another way of another way of looking at and reading and, and reading reading books. I've gone through a bunch of the Sarah books. This is probably the be this is the best seller because of the two big names on it. I've had to reorder the trades uh, a few times now. I've just put another order in yesterday for more Sar Sarah books. They seem to be selling pretty well here. I just hope other stores will pick it up because you just you, you can't get them through Diamond Comics. You have to order direct from them. Uh, you, you still get you still get a, a normal discount and free shipping. So it's it's one extra thing you have to go out to order 
Uh, but I mean, it's not really costing you. It's not like it's costing Russia that you're losing something, you know, that you're not ordering it from Diamond. You know, you still get the free shipping. So if you just want to buy one of each and throw them on the shelf, they're still not charging the, the store shipping. So I mean, it's worthwhile to give it a to give it a shot. I think it's a, uh, um, I think it's a good idea. We'll see. We'll we'll see where it goes. The only thing I uh, the only thing I don't like about it, the back of the trade gives you a synopsis of what the book's about. So you may say, hey, that sounds interesting, I'm gonna buy it. But if there's not a trade to look at and you wanna look at the box set, you flip it over, there's no synopsis. From a marketing standpoint, for me to try, for us stores to try to sell it, if on the back of the box set, they put the synopsis of the book too. If there aren't any trades available, you can, have, someone can look and say, what's this about? Look over, wow, that sounds interesting, and pick up, and pick up the set. Thank you. No pizza tonight. My only this, point was that it was only six issues. I would, I could have read more of that. Yeah. It's written so well. Such a pleasure to read. I'm looking forward to the covers. They're so beautiful. Who's doing the covers? It's that Steve Epting. All right, that just doesn't look like his autograph there. It doesn't look like Epting. Yeah, see the E P. Okay. I N G. All right. Yep. Yeah, all right. Is Sarah the group or Sarah one Sarah's person? Sarah's this girl here. Okay. But it's a, it's a, it's an all female group of um of badasses. Stars. Yeah, they're all yeah. badasses. Yeah. Garth Ennis does some great war comics anyway. He loves war stuff, yep. so if any, you can read a, a war comic, Garth Ennis is a yep. good guy to... And if you're going to have an artist to do the war comic with him, there's the guy to do it. That's a great cover. Yeah. It's like almost... It's like... It's like... Um, I could be getting shot right now. Yep. Well, actually, I'm looking through the target here. So she's she's about so to get she, shot. No. You're going to shoot her? That's what it looks like from here. This looks but like it, my scope going to her. She could be shooting you at the same time. Uh, her bullet, her, her the gun's down here. Oh. I'm standing right here, see? All right, I'm fine. Yeah, so she's, she's going to miss. This is the one I want to read first. Then I want to read, I actually want to read um, Seven Deadly Sins after this. I'm going to read all four, but the Seven Deadly Sins just looked, it's a Western. I like a lot of Western books. I like a lot of war books, so... I don't know who Zay Chun is. I believe that's the guy who um, he runs the company. No, I know he runs the company, okay. but I don't know him as a as a writer yeah. or anything. You know, it's uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if he's written anything before that. He just, I think he just, I don't produces. You know, you know, you know, what, you, you, know what, you know what's great about this about this too. When I first when I first went to when I, when I emailed them and I yeah. said um, I said hey I'm looking to looking to carry your comics to my store. The guy answered me on Christmas Day. Yeah, you know, like, like, and so I mean, so I mean, and then there was a thing. I sent something out on New Year's Eve. Though I just happened to be home on Christmas. I got a, a, an email right. I wasn't expecting anything to come back. Um, later in the later in the evening, there's a thing. Hey, thanks for being interested. Let me tell you how to do this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he pays attention to what's going on, and they're doing it small. Four issues now. Four titles now. Later in the future, four more titles. Um, they're not just shoving a bunch of stuff down your throat gives a chance for everyone to try something different something new um i hope it's i hope it's a company that i hope it's a company that's very successful i hope i you know it's i, I really do you read the new daredevil yet yeah what yep. did you, you think of that it's okay yep i liked it i stopped reading just okay i mean i didn't say i didn't think it was the greatest thing since sliced bread but it was good. No, it's definitely it's definitely worth the read. I'm gonna read number two. I, it looks like it continued from after Man Without Fear, because he they mentioned which I only read a couple episode issues of Man Without Fear and I said I had enough. And he was in the hospital and now in this one in the issue one here he gets out of the hospital. He's out of the hospital now, but they talk they just talk about his injuries, mm -hmm. uh, about him stepping in front of a car and getting hit by a car. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, that usually. <laughs> How was uh, Conan number three? Do we need to even talk about that? No, I'm just curious how we thought about it. It didn't make it home. Oh, that's too bad. But you know what comes out next week? Savage, Savage Sword, Sword of, of Conan. Conan. Yeah, yeah, baby. Do you know what book will not be reviewed here on the Comic Book Savage Palace? Savage Sword of Conan. Yes. Because I've already... I think you're anti-barbarian. Maybe I don't like the barbarian. You like loincloths, that's it. I like loincloths. Oh. But no one wants to see me in a loincloth. No. <laughs> Rave reviews about Green Lantern too, and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. Like everyone was praising it. I was, uh, I think it was on the artist's Twitter that I was looking at, and I guess that there, there is a, there is a complaint. There are some people complaining that it's just, it's just too weird for them or whatever. And so he posted the question: Do you guys, what do you guys think? Is this book too weird, or is it too out of bounds? You know, what, what are your, what are your opinions? And almost like I'd say 98% of the comments were all like, "Oh, it's supposed to be weird. Weird, great. Green Lantern's always supposed to be weird." Well, I don't remember. I don't. Green Lantern always, always being no. some weird. The weird art and the weird story. And Grant Morrison's known for his weird stuff and blah 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 blah. And that's all fine and good, but it's fucking Green Lantern. Huh. It, should, it should be. Right. I, I thought it was great before. 
Yep, I'm not a huge Green Lantern fan, but I would read that stuff before before I read the Grant Morrison stuff. I did not like issue one. Well, we talked about issue yeah. one. There are a lot of people who are happy that it's it's you know quote unquote weird and that it's like going off into some oddball directions and there's things in it you normally wouldn't expect to see and that they're just happy with it. For yeah, they're happy with it because they just followed Grant Morrison to it and they're like, oh, I'm glad he just did because something you weird. Have re- you have like diehard Green Lantern fans here in the store. They're not reading the book. Right. They may buy it still, and then just it's getting bad, boarded, and put away. Phil doesn't read it anymore either. At first, the only books he was reading was Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, right. and he he jumped off he jumped off Green Lantern too. Hmm. And but I know Phil's tough would change, but even that change wasn't wasn't good. I mean, I well, read there's it. There's literally nothing that goes from one version of the book to the next. It's like complete. It's it's just a, it's a completely almost like a completely different universe. It's right. A, there's there is like literally zero similarities. But the guy's name is the same and he has a power ring. Those people that like the it. strange that like oh I'm glad it's weird. Glad it's strange. Second Grant Morrison leaves and it's not weird. They'll be off the book too. Yeah. You know they they a lot of them probably weren't reading the book when it wasn't strange. So um, if they want strange, read uh, read what's uh, what's what's Grant Morrison's but if you, talking but, I mean, to. If you created a new a new title and had it. With this weird space superhero and all these kind of bizarre things, that'd be fine. But yeah. It's not. I don't. I just don't picture that being Green Lantern. Right. I've read Green Lantern back when it's Kyle Rayner. I've read Blackest Night and the Venditti stuff previous to this, and none of it was like like Bizarro World. It was just. It was. It was just. It's fucking superhero stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you're not getting that right now. And just for people to say, yeah, Green Lantern's supposed to be weird. I've been, I've been reading Green Lantern on and off for a long time, and I don't remember it being. Weird. I mean, yeah, there's weird characters in it sometimes because you have the Green Lantern Corps. Right, right, right. You've got it. You've got it. You've got a space alien with a with that has a lantern ring, you know, and he's got twelve eyes or something. But it's just because you happen to be on planet. You know, (laughs) (laughs) that's one thing I never liked reading about any Green Lantern or any space comic at all is the the weird alien names for planets and alien races and stuff. And I I agree. My friend's name is. Right. How do you pronounce that? It's Dave. got it's got fifteen consonants. Bob yeah, you know. This yeah. Is Bob, that's Dave. Yep. Nothing was weird about Blackest Night. No, Jeff nothing Jones at right. all. That, that was like a classic superhero story. Yep. And even that whole Jeff Johns run, like remember Sinestro? Sinestro was like the main yeah. was the main guy. Hal Jordan didn't have a ring, and he's right. like, "Oh, please, yeah, my yeah. life sucks. Give me a give me a ring." And Sinestro goes, "I feel bad for you. Yeah. I'll give you a ring, but you're gonna follow me." You know, it's uh that was that was interesting. There was nothing weird about it though. Right. It was it was a superhero. It was it was, it was a, a little s- bit of different spin, but there was nothing strange about it. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't just right. Weird for the sake of being weird. Yeah. Like, like like giant you know gerbil creatures or whatever. It's just, was just a homeless a, fighting. Yeah. You know, it's. Well, we. I'm not gonna get into that. Oh well, alien homeless fighting. How's that? Yeah. Homeless alien yeah. fighting. I still haven't read Prodigy number one yet. What is that? Issue two or three? Three. Tim's. Uh, Tim was saying. He goes, what do you mean? Because he goes, when Project came out this week, he goes, yeah, I'll give me a copy of that. I, go, yeah, I haven't read it. I got him, I've got him at the house. Right. He goes, what do you mean you haven't read this yet? This book is great. And I was like, sorry. I don't, just, I don't doubt it at I'm all. Just a little, I'm just a little behind on it. He goes, he goes, well, you may be a little behind on it. Well, stop getting behind on that and get behind on something else because this book is worthwhile reading. Yeah, it's Mark Millar and it was Mark Albert Kirk. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot. The country that Mark Miller or Millar is from the he he may may have actually heard his name said several times and that could be the correct way to say it and yeah. we've been saying it wrong this whole time but I'm thinking now if I talk to most people in here and I say Mark Miller people are gonna go who yeah you know so I you know I don't know I'm gonna call him Miller from now on all right then we're gonna go Mark Miller from now on so maybe we'll get more information like more people will comment no it is it is Miller or whatever oh hey maybe right being um, interviewed somewhere. yeah or maybe I'm Mark Miller I'm interviewing Mark Miller and blah 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 right. Or maybe Mark Miller, someone will for the sim say, "Hey, how how's this?" And he can comment and he'll on come it. Down say, the store. "Right, it comes out." So, "Hey, asshole, you've been saying my name wrong this yeah. whole time." Well, I apologize, you know. It's, but it'd be cool to have him walk through the door. That'd be, that'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, because I mean, there's not too books. much stuff that he does that's not good. Yeah. Uh, did you read Female Furies yet? Nope. Mm-hmm. Ask me if I'm going to. Are you going to read Female nope. Furies? Nope. But they're furious. Well, I'm, I mean, you, you, it's not really good sometimes to get a lot of females furious Together, at you. Yeah, yeah. Furious. yeah, I'm just not, again, it's, you You like the, you like that stupid Mr. Miracle book, you should read that. I it's love called, Mr. Miracle. Then it's about Big Barda, you should read I it. I love Big Barda. Well, she, she's one of the main characters no, there. Maybe I'll take a look at it. 
I don't really like I don't really like Jack Kirby's fourth world stuff. So the only person I ever liked was Mr. Miracle and except for Tom so Kent. That's so good. You missed out big time. Dude, how about Girl in the Bay? I flipped through it because it was J.M. Demetis, but yep. or I don't know how to pronounce his name either. Um, eh. She's in the Bay. That's, she can stay there, I guess. She fell. She almost drowned. That's fine. Actually, she there was... should be a lifeguard there or you shouldn't be swimming in the Actually, bay. she was being... Uh, someone attacked her or murdered and threw her in the bay. What? She survived, and when she came back up out of the water, it was 50 years later. It's 50 years later when she comes up and someone has taken her identity. Like, there's a doppelganger as her. Yeah, that, that's what that book's about. Wow. So this... But this uh, this particular book here... I think it's like supposed to be like a Vertigo esque yeah. type uh, type story. If I didn't know or had read about it, of you know, hey, she comes up and fifty years later, someone else is her or whatever, mm -hmm. I would just look it through and probably never picked it up. You know, it's even though I like some of J.M. Demodis's stuff, uh, I may not have. But now that I know what it is, mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested. I have it. I have it, it at home. Right. Yeah, yep, I have it at home. This boy has just been unleashed. Yeah, Titans yeah. is not that good. Yeah, I don't. It's I don't canceled. Yeah. yeah, I figure I'll just hang out till it's done. But it was really good in the beginning. But and Wonder Woman's crap these days too. That's on the short lease. No, oh, yeah, I don't read Wonder Woman. I like I like Wonder Woman as a character. Yeah, uh, I like. I like it if you got a good writer. And they had yeah. a couple, you know. Yeah, stories. what's it, uh, G Will Willow Wilson yeah, or something Wilson reading this? Something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't liked a lot of her stuff. <clears throat> Supergirl, I've been liking. Yeah, I haven't read it. I read that. I read a couple. Not at the top of my pile, but it's not definitely not near the bottom. It's in the middle. Yeah, so yep. like Flash, I like the second part of the crossover. Yeah, the bat with the Batman thing. Yeah. yeah. So it sucked you into buying the Batman, or did you? Yeah, I bought yeah. the Batman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Rob Williamson's writing it, so I'm like, yeah. I don't have to read King. You know, so <laughs> right, 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 right. See, I didn't read it. Um, I've been reading. I love Williamson. I I wish he would go back and do some more image stuff that yep. he was doing, um, but. I didn't want to get sucked in if I started reading if I started reading Williamson doing Batman. Oh, okay. It's only two episodes and then then it's back to King again. So yeah, it's yeah. uh you know I'm just reading it for the completion. But yeah, the completion yeah. of the story. Yeah. Yeah. And I've really been enjoying Hawkman. Hawkman's been awesome. I can't believe it. Vin Didi's one of my favorite writers. I like Vin Didi too. Yeah. I didn't I mean I was I'm not a fan of Green Lantern. Yeah. So even with him writing Green Lantern wasn't uh, he did a great Green you know, Lantern. And Hitch is a good artist. Yeah. Um, as long as he doesn't write, that's. Fine. Yep. Yeah. Right. He wrote, right. He wrote Justice League for a while. Yeah. 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 That yeah no. No. They, they should. They should keep the compute. They should keep the the keyboard away from Hitch yeah. and just let him <laughs> let him draw. Let him draw. Hawkman's one of those guys where I'll read them and go, yeah, all right, and then eventually not like them. Always like them as a supporting character, but yeah, Vendetti's done a great job on this book. Yeah, yeah. I hope he stays on after the story arc's done. Well, I'm sure he will, yeah. but, uh, that, you know, usually when these have these great story arcs, then they screw up towards the end, you know, yeah. after that. But yeah, We'll see. He's good, though. I like him as a writer. I mean, I mean, he did write Green Lantern for... A, years. A, yeah, years yeah. worth of issues, so... Yeah. Um, so maybe maybe this will be it. I mean, like I said, Green Lantern, Green Lantern just wasn't for me, but yeah. neither was Hawkman, and he surprised me. So here's another, you know, here's another guy. Like we, you know, a book a book like this. I, I I'm glad I tried it mm -hmm. because normally I don't really like the character that much, right. and now have stuck have stuck with it. It was a guy that finally wrote a wrote a good story for 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 a character I don't really like. Yeah. Hero for Hire. I'm going to give it a chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Hero for, Hero for Hire. Me too. Um, me too. And the guy who's writing it, I like. Sam Humphreys, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's good, great, but he's pretty yeah. good. Yo, he's got some hit, some good yeah. stuff. Um, he does a lot of like image and, and stuff, yeah. um, independent stuff, and they hit a mess. Yeah. There's some Sam Humphreys stuff I like. Oh, I love this, and there's some that just oh, this is un this is unreadable. So and then uh, Wonder Twins, I'm not gonna get. I tried Wonder Twins. It's got the guy. I don't like his Mark Russell. Is that who writes it? I don't. I don't like his writing. Yeah. Um, it was definitely goofy. Yeah. You know, it was... I'm reading issue two because I actually want to see them use their powers. Yeah. You know something? I don't need to be reading high school shit. Yeah. Um, you, you might as well go read half the manga crap that's out there. It's got a second issue for me, but... That's it. It's, yeah, it's on a cho it's on the yeah. choker chain. Yeah. You know something? It's a fun book if you like... If, if people just like, like lighthearted stuff or they like... They like, you know, stories of, you know... Teenagers in school and or, or any of that stuff, you know, trying to deal with this, then they're gonna like that book. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not looking for I, I'm not looking for a book of you know 
yep. two aliens that are that are in high school, you know, trying to trying to fit in yep. or whatever. Now we're past that now. I'm reading issue two, and I think I'm only reading issue two is because I don't have to pay for it. Yeah. If I had to pay for it, I probably wouldn't buy issue yeah. two. Yeah. You should try Green Lantern number one. I don't think so. Just suck it up and try it. No, I don't think so. I did. How bad was it? Wasn't good at all. See? <laughs> so but now it, but, you're telling me to try something. Yeah, but you so so then though, I'm already not really a Green Lantern fan either. You like Green Lantern. I like so, Green Lantern. So maybe you'd like, like us. I don't like Grant Morrison. Was his writing style crap as usual? But you know something? His last his, his last book, Closet, just came out was fantastic. Well that's nice, but was right. the writing in the Green Lantern story crap? Of course it was. So why should I? Sub uh, sub my opinion is different than yours. Up? My opinion I is different it. than yours. I revere you that much that if you tell me it's a piece of crap, I will believe it unequivocally. No, well, I've been trying. I've been trying to tell you that most '60s uh, Superman is well, crap, and you disagree. Wrong. Right? There no. you're wrong. So you disagree with that, though, right? Sorry, there no. you're wrong. Grant Morrison wrote a great Happy. Happy was a was a fantastic book. You never even looked at. You did. You probably didn't even watch the TV show. Mm. No. All right, so so there you go. You didn't even give it a chance. It had the kiss of death. And Grant Morrison. It was a good book. It was it was so good that it became a TV show. That's not speaking too highly. No. Well, I know because it's not. I know it's not Outer Limits or no, no, Twilight no, no, Zone. No, Twilight yeah. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not Twilight not Zone. It's not 1960s. Not, uh, it's right. It's not in that class of writing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boredom. No, not boredom. Yeah. It's not your Star Trek. That was produced by the folks who put on the Outer Limits. So you're yeah. Right well, there. yeah, that's right. So trash and trash. No, 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 no. Very popular. Yeah. Very you know, popular. And then he wrote. Then he wrote Claws. If he, Claws was, he's done I think three or four series of Claws. Well, there's one series and I think three one shots. Is this Santa paragraph uh, partial Claws? Yeah. Yep. K L A U S. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, the first mini series is really good. The second one shot was good. The third one shot was awful. And this last one shot though was really good. So I mean, it's 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 not all. You got to just got to give him a chance and to see if you really don't like it. I mean, I always try Grant Morrison stuff. 85% of the time I don't like it. But sometimes you get those hidden those hidden gems. Those are a couple of hidden gems. Green Lantern wasn't one of those hidden gems. Well, the, the one I will give you this, the JLA Earth 2 with uh, Frank Whiteley. That was decent. That wasn't terrible. His Justice League that he wrote was in the 90s or maybe early 2000s in the early 2000s. Um he did, I don't know, 40, 50 issues was really good, except for that Rock of Ages storyline. I think everything else was, I think everything else was really good. He had Prometheus. The Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel was probably one of the best Justice League stories I ever read. Grant Morrison actually did a, a couple, uh, uh, I don't remember how many issues it was, but he actually did a few good stories in Flash before... Um, Jeff Johns took it over back in the uh, back in the Wally West days, you know. Um, he he did, and I, I mean I I wasn't reading Flash at the at the time, uh, and so I picked it up. It says great, I'm picking up with Grant Morrison, and I enjoyed it. So a shock. Well, no, I mean so it can it can happen. It can happen. So you you shouldn't be trashing on it yet. You haven't even looked at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least look at it. You can at least look at it if you don't like the art. You can at least trash on the art if you don't like the art. But you may go, wow, this art's fantastic. I didn't mind the art in the book, just except the guy makes these elongated heads. You know, it's, I mean, they all. But but he does it for everybody. Hector so Hammond head. But besides that, the art the artwork wasn't wasn't too bad. So I mean, at least you could look you could well, look at artwork, it. And, the artwork would be good. It's just the story. I want it. You know the line. Tell me a good story. But you don't know. You haven't looked at it. Again, I trust emphatically <laughs> your re your review of the comic. I say, I say, I mean, I like Kyle Reiner. He's really the only Green Lantern I care about. He was pretty good. Yeah, like when when Hal Jordan went berserk. Yeah, and Kyle Reiner coming out of the bar Rings drunk. Him in. Yeah, you know, and uh, and you know the blue guy came down and goes, "Hey, this is our last ring. You better take it." He's like, "Whoa, what am I gonna do?" That was the best Green Lantern I've ever read. That yeah, early stuff. Yeah, him finding his girlfriend is cut up and chopped in his refrigerator. refrigerator. Hey, good shock value. You turn the next page, his girlfriend stuffed in the refrigerator. Does it does it get any better than that? And she'll keep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Could. But you know what's exciting? Howard the Duck, my my guy, Howard the Duck, is getting is is getting a getting a cartoon. Okay, I just remember that horrible movie. It was a great movie. It was it was something you would see on Sci-Fi. Howard the Duck was better in the little parts of Guardian of the Galaxy he's been in compared to that horrible movie. You're killing me. Okay, let's let listen. I'm sorry. You are killing me. Come on. 
Toxic Avenger was a higher quality of superhero movie than Howard the Duck. I cannot agree. I don't, no, I liked Toxic yeah, Avenger. I, I liked it. Now, Howard Come the Duck. On. Howard the, I watch it now sometimes. It's on IFC. It's on one of the yeah. one of the shows. I'll sit down and watch Howard the Duck. I'd rather watch the original Fantastic Four movie. The one that yeah, nobody hey, has hey, ever look, seen. You know, so now, now you're just throwing shit out there now. Okay. okay? Yeah, that, that, <laughs> all right. Okay. I, I did okay. go a little too far yeah. there. I got to bring it back. So. That's almost like right. saying you'd watch Supergirl from the 80s. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. No. I, I got to admit. If I had a choice between watching the original Supergirl movie and Howard the Duck, I'm watching Howard the Dude, Duck. Dude, you watch Sharknado. Okay, Sharknado's high quality Yeah, but, but I mean, it's still Let's goofy, be. schlocky. Like, Howard the Duck is goofy and no. schlocky. Howard the Duck was just like... Let's take the midget or short person, you put him in a duck suit, and we'll just roll the camera, okay? Hey, Howard we, we got a Howard the Duck movie. Yeah. He's done two cameos in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. He's, got, he's got his own animated <laughs> movie coming out. Where's your guy? Where is he? Where Listen, is, don't where is he? All right, you Where's know Where's Arcade? Where's Arcade? He's got nothing. 2020, Arcade will rule the cinema. I'm actually swallowing the puke that's coming up. How many up, times okay? have I walked into this <laughs> fine establishment and you have said that, yes, I read a good Arcade story? How many times? How many times? Twice, maybe? That's all I need. For 50 years of Arcade or 40 years of Arcade, we got, we got two good stories. But you praise them. So there is the potential. I'm telling you right now, Marvel Comics is missing out. Arcade could be one of the greatest villains. Hey, it was popular in the 80s. Yeah. That was actually the last X-Men book. Was it 119, 122, Who something else could that? Put the that was the last the X-Men book I read as a kid. But then Arcade was, I go, I can't take this anymore. Arcade was yeah. fantastic. Who else could put the X-Men in the giant pinball machine? And who wants to see the X-Men in the giant pinball machine? Only I Mark. Would. Yes. I'm telling you right now, they should do an arcade movie. It would probably be as big as Deadpool. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> actually thinking about right now smashing my face through this glass. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a great comment section. I can't wait. Listen. It's not going to be me getting shit on all the time now. It's all right. It's <laughs> after Avengers Endgame, after the last movie, Marvel's going to need a reboot. Arcade, the age of the villain. Do you think he's been drinking the Kool-Aid? I was the first person to come in here and have the guts to throw out Arcade. I'm probably the only Asian that doesn't like uh, like anime or, oh, yeah. anime or anything like that. <laughs> I can't get that to it. Can't. Well, he, he likes that sort of stuff. And a lot of the stuff he reads is all about them being in school and doing it. So yep. he's, he'll, he'll, he'll love it. You know, it's... Uh, warning. Did Warning number four come out? Yeah, that should be up there. Yeah, that's uh, that's up there. Yeah, it came out. It's on the do this week, Rack. Yeah, let me grab that. Uh, okay. Actually, if we want to help him first, though. Okay. <sighs> you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah it, it's Long day. Just getting right over it. <laughs> well, if you notice, it's it's not high enough either where where the it was showing on the yeah, top. Yeah, you don't yeah. see the lettering. You just see the. Because we've had a lot of people said, "Hey, why don't you live stream all the time? Why don't you set uh -huh. up some cameras and just and just live stream?" Because there's going to be times of the day where that is what you is, where yeah. that is what you're going to get. And then there's also going to be people in here that don't control themselves sometimes, and you have to you have to reprimand them all the time. Oh yeah, because you're always on camera, so you got to yeah. watch what you you right. say sometimes. We've all watched the Diego episode, okay? So um, <laughs> Diego got away with it because there was no customers in the store. Yeah, you you got to live stream stuff too. That some people just don't want to be just don't want to do it. You, you know they mm -hmm. they don't they don't, don't want to I, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on <laughs> TV. I mean, there's a lot of time I'm just here, I'm doing paperwork. Uh -huh. You know, I'm doing invoices or writing out checks or whatever. Yep. Well, that's exciting. If you live stream, because you're, you'll, like at the bar, they have the chat up, so they're always talking to chat, so that's another thing. You'd, you'd literally have to engage your your viewers. <laughs> right, right. If I'm constantly doing that, uh -huh. then I'm not doing what I should, yeah. that, I, that I'm actually doing. I mean, yeah. how are you keeping up with chat while you're reading a comic book? Sometimes when there's nobody here, it's still my sanctuary. It's 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 like I'm I'm home now. So I want to read a com I'll read a comic. I'll do paper or I'm doing paperwork. I don't want to have to be on. I twitch a lot, but there's a lot of times I just want to go home and just play a game and not have to engage an audience or whatever like that. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's definitely that. All right. That sense of like, oh, you don't have to. You're you're not you're not doing it for anybody. Right. It's, it's your time. <laughs> so. Right. So yeah. So that yeah. I I don't see it. I don't see I don't see that happening. <laughs>
it was a it was a great book. Uh, the artwork was fantastic. Yep. Um, yep. I mean, I've really got nothing nothing really bad to say about the story, about the artwork. Um, there's just one thing about the book I don't really I don't really care for.